Hold up. Sand gun? Oh my god. Whoa, look. There's actually a devourer of gods like moving around in the background. Right here. Down smash. Ooh. Oh, I'm going off the stage. I gotta be careful there. Uh-uh. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are here back in the Ravels of Aether. Now, a while ago, probably like a year or two at this point, we checked out Terraria mods in Ravels of Aether. And since then, the mod that I checked out originally that added in the Terraria guy or whatever the hell you want to call him, it's been updated a little bit. So I think it's about time we jump back into this. So we're going to hop into Versus here. We're going to choose our character right here. Terraria area guy boom look at that looks just like terraria guy just how i remember him. yeah we're gonna go ahead we're just gonna get to fighting i don't remember how to play rivals at all we'll figure it out it's all good i'll put the bot on like we'll do like level six what's the highest nine we'll do, we'll do seven and uh, let, let's just get to it it doesn't really matter what character we go against uh, I haven't played Smash or Ravs of there in a long time. But yeah, as you can see here, we got a good bit of maps to choose from. Let's let's just go with the dungeon. We'll probably go through all these maps. Actually, no, nah, let's let's go with this map right here. The desert. Cool. Look at that. Let's get to it. I'm ready to go. Again, like I said, I have not played Smash or Rivals in forever. So I barely remember anything about the damn games. But yeah. As you can see, the character seems a lot more polished compared to what we played last time. There's a lot of attacks that just weren't there last time. But now, we got a lot more attacks to choose from. Uh, as you can see, if I press... What is that? A? B? I, I don't know. If I do this, I go through like three different guns. Blowpipe, blow pipe, flintlock, musket, and the paintball gun. Oh, look at this attack. My boy chilling. Damn, calm down. He tried to combo me. I'm gonna have to beat his ass now. I'm gonna have to go into overdrive here. I'm trying to do like smash attacks, but like, again, I don't remember the controls for rivals. I know they're a little bit different. Oh, what a hit. Why did it get so dark all of a sudden? Let me hit him with the slime down smash. Boom. Again. Where am I at? Boom. I need to hit this right here. There we go. I need to hit it again. Oh my God. Die, bro. There we go. Build some percentage up. Star cannon. Oh my God. Star cannon for the kill. But yeah, again, there's like so much. We might have to hop into a practice so I can see all the attacks here. Because there's a lot of stuff that I don't remember. Oh, so if I use the Knight's Edge, it literally brings like nighttime. If I charge it up, that's pretty cool. Okay, he's comboing me. I, okay. okay, I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. Oh, look at that. We get a little slime attack. That's so cursed looking. The character looks like so long when I do this. Let me see if I can cheese him off the side of the map. Damn, he tech that. What the heck? This is a level 7 bot tech and shit. Oh, with the rotted pitchfork? Look at my ass beat right now. Usually I play Smash with a pro control. Uh, definitely not an Xbox control. <laughs> so this is a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, here we go. The sand gun. Oh, if I could hit him with that sand gun attack right there, that'd be crazy. Boom. Oh, let's see if I could bounce him with the, the, the slime. And then hit him with the sand gun. No, I can't. I can't get him to jump high enough. <coughs> Jesus. That boy made me cough and he uppercut me into the sky. What about that, though? Oh, yes. All right. I got to end this fight here before he takes me out. It's pretty close of a game. I can't begin my ass beat by a bot. It's happened before, though. Hold up. Sand gun? Oh, my God. What a finisher. Hey. 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 Banger alert. All right. So I hopped into a practice world here. Uh, the snow biome, to be exact. It's got the music and everything so definitely feels like we're playing terraria but yeah let's see our attacks here okay so i'm gonna hit x on the xbox controller that brings up all this what do i do from there like i have no idea what to do next i'm hitting d-pad i'm hitting up down with the stick like i have no idea oh okay that was me pressing up and x okay interesting side x is grenade cool b grenade these were op last time we used them uh, what about down X? What the hell? I could buy from the merchant? Let me get a potion, bro. Thank you very much. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. Watch this. And then now if we hit X, oh, iron skin, we get more defense now. Uh, boom, swiftness. We're faster, obviously. Uh, grav. Can I switch gravity? How does it work? I have no idea. Oh, we just have just anti-gravity. Wow, that's cool. And then obviously I can heal the percentage off of me if I do the potion, right? Yeah, that's so cool. So that's down in X. 
Oh my god, and then look, he has heart arrows he sells? What? This is so unique. Let me see these hard arrows. I don't remember how to shoot arrows. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know how to shoot arrows. All right, well, that's cool to say the least. So that was just all the X button. What about Y? Y is our jump. Okay, so that's the jump in this game. So you see, we got a double jump and then we also had like rocket boots. Yeah, there you go. Uh, what about pressing down Y? No, so Y is literally just jumping in this game. Okay, now let's move on to the B button. B in Smash is usually projectiles, I think, or specials. B in this charges up the knight's edge. Okay, cool. That was just pressing B, no left or right or anything. What about up B? Up B's pitchfork and we could charge it. Left B, okay, and right B would be the same thing, I'm assuming. Uh, what about down B? Down B is the dirt rod, okay. Now what about jumping down B? So that's a slime, jumping up B is a sand gun. Jumping right B is that, and I think jumping left B is star cannon, okay. And then now what about A? Is A our neutral? Or is AR special in this? I think it's our special because we're shooting. And usually you shoot and smash with your special. So let's see here. If I just jump and press A, what even is this? I have no idea. What the hell? So if I move and press A, see, like, it's so different. Like, how come I'm doing a star fury now? And how come I did a boomerang? Jumping and pressing down A is a wild thorn attack? So weird. <laughs> And then we got a water wand, whatever the fuck this thing is called. I don't remember. Sea spray. If I press A and go left or right, I do a dash. But look, I did an arrow. Like, how the hell did I do an arrow? And then I do a dagger? Like, what? <laughs> it's so confusing. There's so many, like, attacks. And then if I hold down in A, I do this weird, like, slime attack. Like, what is this? <laughs> what a move. I want to kill things with this move. All right, I think we got the gist of it, hopefully. All right, we're back here in Versus, and I want to go against a certain enemy here. Oh, can I actually change the color of the Terraria guy? I wonder. I actually want to fight a certain enemy. I just got to figure out how to do it. How, how do you change it from not random? Oh, do I go like this? I grab this and put it here. Here we go. Now, if you guys remember, when we originally did this video, we went against Steve. And Steve wasn't in Smash yet. So what if we go against the next character right because like if you think about it i low-key predicted steve and smash how about we predict the next one you ready the next one crash bandicoot that's who i want in smash next baby let's do it let's put them on ah, i think seven's fine now we're gonna fight in a cool world we're gonna go to this one devourer of god stage hell yeah let's do it damn it's raining on here whoa my character the skin is ugly what the heck all right let's see it in action here hopefully uh my boy crash doesn't beat my ass too badly hey crash you know there's a smash reveal coming up in a couple of days here in june i think june 14th or 15th is uh when e3 is going down you know, there's a smash reveal going down uh, mr crash i would love it if you showed up in that smash reveal you know it really make my day uh you're one of my favorite all-time video game mascots and, you know a lot of other great video game mascots are in smash so you're like why not you get in there too bro you deserve it this nintendo just hates you i'm beating his ass though and i hope nintendo doesn't beat his ass by not including him in the game and knocked him off the stage whoa look there's actually a devourer of gods like moving around in the background that's really cool but yeah like recently with smash like i have not cared about any of the dlc characters that came out i personally haven't played a game associated with them the titty sisters that came out like i don't even remember their name the xenoblade characters i think they're from the titty twins whatever like i have never played a xenoblade game i don't plan to didn't really care when they came out uh sephiroth is cool i mess with sephiroth even though i've never played a final fantasy game sephiroth is legitimately cool uh i played him once ever and then when steve came out, of course you know i played smash when nice. steve came out. but like there's only been a few characters that have made me like return to smash as dlc characters and uh, steve was definitely one of them you know steve was one of my most hyped characters period to come into smash I mean, he's a very unique character so i'm hoping that crash gets in there because as you can see crash is pretty unique himself too oh my god we hit him with the knight's edge attack let me see if i can kill him with the slime attack come on uh-huh oh shit just be careful now boom i need to hit him with something unique i feel like i kill everything with the same attack i'll be honest i'm not that good at this game like i i don't remember like how to play this game at all i played it a little bit before oh that was kind of clean but I have not played any fighting games in a minute. But yeah, I'm sorry, Crash. You know, let me just finish this off, bro. Let's see if we could uh, talk to the merchant here. Uh, get that. Oh, fuck. You're fucking crap. All right, I'm going to beat your ass, Crash. I'm sorry. It has to go down. Hit him with the knives, the throwing knives. And then I'm going to hit him with a side beat. 
Throw the grenades. Hit him with the B grenades, of course. Uh huh. Oh, I'm going off the stage. I gotta be careful there. Uh uh. You ain't getting back on this stage, bro. I'm sorry. Gotta love the ending music, of course. Alright, so the last map we're gonna go to here is the Fractal Palace from the Polarities mod. Very, very nice. I had this installed apparently from the past. So I guess I showed myself the Polarity stuff on accident in the past. We're going against Bowser here. I installed a Bowser mod because Bowser is my main in Smash. I got really nasty with Bowser when I played Smash, and then I went on like a winning streak. I was I'm like six and zero against a bunch of my IRL friends, and then I just kind of just like retired playing Smash after that, you know, because I beat like some of my really good friends at Smash, and like that surprised even me. And after I did that, I was like, you know, let me retire the crown. I went flawless with Bowser against a bunch of my really good Smash friends. I think it's time that I retire. But uh, you know, maybe this next. DLC will make me pick up the game again. Yeah, I want to hit some like spicy combos here. Oh, now that was a spicy combo. I want to be able to buy something. It's kind of hard to like pull up the shop. Hold up. Oh shit! I almost killed myself. Oh, I thought he killed himself. Quick, uh, buy stuff. There you go. You can buy a lot of stuff there. Oh, my fault. My fault. There you go. We got the thorns potion. So if he hits me, he hurts himself, right? Nice. Something like that. He killed himself. I wonder what the recall potion does. Oh, so it just teleports you. Okay. Teleports you to where you spawned in on the map. You know, I got a stock advantage here because he killed himself. <laughs> he SD'd off the stage. Uh, might as well take advantage of it. Oh. oh, and I'm back on here. Oh, he has a grappling hook. I just noticed that. I haven't used it yet. Let me hit him with some uh, specials here. Oh, I see him with the fucking spot dodge. Oh, look at that. Sweet about dodges. That's clean. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. I dodged into it. Oh, I almost was able to DI out of that shit. I don't even know if you can DI in this game. We got to hit him with the Knight's Edge special. Come on. Hold up. Oh, oh. Watch this. Watch this edge guard. Oh, if he came up a little bit, I would have got his ass. Right here. Down smash. Oh. Oh. Oh, I was trying to get back on the floor. Hit him with the dirt rod again. Come on. Yes, sir. All right, there you go. I think that will be all in terms of this video. It's just Rivals of Aether. It's just me like duking it out against a bunch of uh, random ass characters. And there isn't really much to make a video on. Like, it's the Terraria guy. He's got a lot of cool attacks. The mod's definitely been updated a lot since the last time I played, and it's really fun playing them now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out all the mods and stuff I checked out today. And let's also hope and pray that my boy Crash Bandicoot will make it into Smash. He deserves it, right? But yeah, I will see y'all next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe we'll do another one. Maybe we'll do another one if you guys want to see me do more. Let me know in the comments. 